today I have a lot of things to do. I have a lot of Etsy orders to mail out, but before I can mail them, I have to package them. And before I can package them, I have to print them. And before I can print them, well, actually they're, they're ready to print. I do all of my printing at home. I finally have a printer. Um, and I thought I would take you guys along with me because this is something that when I was researching it, I didn't know how to do it all. And so I thought I would take you from start to finish how I fulfill my, or my print orders at home. You got I want to give a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. I wouldn't have learned how to do any of this printing process without the use of Skillshare and I've been using their platform for about a year and a half now and I can honestly say that I wouldn't know how to do half of the things that I do without the classes that I've taken on Skillshare. For those of you who don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online learning platform for creators. And my favorite part about it is that you're learning from other creators. You're learning from people who are doing the thing that they're teaching you. And to me, there's something so special about learning how to do something from the person who uses it in their daily life. Those of you interested in trying out Skillshare, the first 500 of you who use the link in my description will get a two month free trial. I literally cannot tell you how much Skillshare has changed my life and I, I think that you would probably learn some really cool things. So if you're interested, the link is in my description and I hope that you learn a whole lot. All right, back to the video. So the prints that I'm making today are from this painting that I did a while ago. I freaking love it. And so I've already scanned it in, um, so I'm not gonna do that again. But what I do after I scan it in is I pull it into Photoshop and I kind of work out some of the blemishes, if there's any dust on the scanner, things like that. So once you've scanned in your file and you've cleaned it up in Photoshop, you bring it in and you create a border for your print. Um, actually, the way that I learned this is through a class on Skillshare. So if you're interested in learning how to do this specifically, use my link in the description to get your two month free trial and go check out the class. She explained it a lot better than I will. So once you've got your print document set up, you print it. Really? I always spill coffee on myself. The sweatshirt is actually covered in coffee. But I'm living my best life. stationery all around amazing store and I got these tiny little cards um, because I wanted to like have a little thank you note in my Etsy orders um, so I made this guy so this is like a size it's like a four bar I think it's what it's called so I have to look up what that looks like for the 50 millionth time because I can't remember Okay, file. So let's see if I can print this. I've never tried to print something so small on my printer. So we'll see. That's not even right. Okay. Okay. You got so I printed it out. It's not perfect. It's actually not ideal. The color is just not what I want it to be. And I don't know where this border came from. So we're gonna try again. We're gonna try again. So I don't know why um, I measured these. Like I measured the paper and 
it is different measurements than like four bar paper is supposed to be. But for some reason, my printer thinks that it is the four bar dimensions instead of the actual dimensions that it is. So I have to trim all of them. I have to trim all of them. So we're gonna trim all of them. for hours my hand is cramping from writing I'm starving so I'm gonna go take a break and eat some food before I finish packaging up these orders but I hope that that was informational or fun or cool for you to watch um, and if you're interested in learning more about this process I learned how to do it via classes on Skillshare so I highly recommend that platform for you as well and remember if you're interested you can get a two-month free trial using the link in my description um, and until next time, happy learning. Bye guys.